You are watching Blessing Today Legacy Talks. Welcome to Blessing Today Legacy Talks. I am Pastor Finney Stephen from Glory Mission. This is a wonderful opportunity for me to talk to the leaders of the Christendom who are growing in Christ and who are carrying a new level of anointing to bless the kingdom of God. An end time revival is already started all over the world. So you are at the right time, at the right place. The word of God says that the harvest is plenty and the laborers are few. And among that few, you are called into the vineyard of Jesus Christ. This episode is very special for you. And the Lord Jesus Christ is going to talk to you. You can experience the presence of the Holy Spirit. I would like to talk about the calling of God. If you want to serve Jesus Christ in his kingdom, you need a calling from God. That is the difference between God's kingdom and uh, the career in the world. The career in the world is natural, but the calling of God is supernatural. Career you can decide. You are the master in that. But in the calling of God, God is the master and he will decide for you. Everyone is born on this earth with a purpose of God. You need to find that purpose of God for your life. Then only your life really begins on this earth. Till that day you are just existing on this earth. If you receive that supernatural call, then you need to respond to him positively. You have to say yes. Almost 27 years ago, when I was a college student, when I was studying for my law degree in Pune, Maharashtra, I got that supernatural call in my life. I never expected that in my life. I was planning to practice as an advocate in Kerala. That's why I went to Pune to do my law degree. But miraculously, there came a supernatural call in my life. Jesus called me into the kingdom ministry to commit my life for full-time ministry. That was supernatural, miraculous. It transformed my life. I committed totally for the purposes of Christ. And from that time onwards, I started preaching the word of God. Last uh, 22 years after completing my law degree, I started preaching the word of God. Last 22 years, I'm preaching the word of God. I got the wonderful opportunity to go to the northeastern part of India to a state called Arunachal Pradesh. And God gave me that opportunity to preach the gospel for many years in Arunachal Pradesh. So if you are a young man of God who is waiting for the call of God, maybe this is the opportunity right now. God can speak to you. Holy Spirit can speak to you. And when you hear that call, respond to that call. Say yes to that call. Commit yourself at the feet of Jesus. And that will fulfill the plans of God in your life. Take the example of Moses. Moses was planning to serve God at the age of 40. But nothing happened in his life. He ran away from Egypt to a wilderness and he was there for 40 years. And at the age of 80 on the Mount Horeb, there came a supernatural call in the life of Moses. He heard from the thorny bush. When he saw the fire in that thorny bush, he heard that great call. Moses! Moses! It can be called as double calling. He was called by God. At that time, he was not willing to go to Egypt and to save the people of Israel from Egypt. He said no to God. But we can see that long conversation between God and Moses in Exodus chapter 3 and also in Exodus chapter 4. And finally, Moses agreed, yes, I'm willing to go to Egypt. I'm willing to work for you. I'm willing to commit my life for you. I'm willing to go with the plans of God. Thus, at the age of 80, he committed his life for God and he became a great deliverer. He led two million people from slavery to freedom, from failure to victory, and his life was fruitful. If you want to experience fruitfulness in your life, Understand the call of God. Know the call of God. If you are called into the kingdom of God as a minister, as a leader in the kingdom of God, 
submit to that call respond to that call that will bring that satisfaction and fulfillment in your life and that is going to bless you and also you will become a channel of blessing to millions of people take the example of paul in the new testament we see him in acts chapter 9 he is called as a murderer even his breath was filled with the threats and murder but god's calling came in his life when he was explaining about that calling in galatians chapter 1 and verse 16 it is written there he was called from his mother's womb many of you are called from your mother's womb there is a calling on you but because you are distracted with many things of this world you are not hearing the call of god paul was called from mother's womb but he was not able to respond to that call i believe that god called him many times soul soul but because of the distraction of this world and the things of this world he was not able to hear that call and finally on his way to damascus a great light fell on him and that was the moment he responded to the call of god he said yes to lord jesus christ when he was called there also we can notice that uh, a double calling jesus is calling him soul soul jesus is calling him soul soul the double calling came on him and he responded to the call of jesus christ saying yes to jesus and he committed his life and that revolutionized christendom when god separated him for kingdom purpose he became a great blessing to millions and millions of people around the world and now comes your chance your opportunity god wants to call you into his vineyard if you are willing to respond to him positively if you are willing to say yes to him a miracle is going to happen in your life a life changing experience you will become a channel of blessing to millions and millions of people do you want to say yes to jesus are you recognizing the call of god in your life are you able to identify the call of god in your life if you are hearing his voice right now make a decision in your life say yes to jesus christ and all others who are already into the ministry as the word declares that be sure of your calling don't doubt about your calling if you are called by god fear should not stand against the progress of your ministry break that fear and progress and boldly say i am called by god jesus is with me there is a calling on my life if you are called by god you are very special to jesus according to the word of god you are a jewel in his eyes you are very special to jesus you are an anointed man of god you are an anointed woman of god jesus needs you desperately he needs you you are a laborer in the kingdom of god and you are going to bless millions of people respond to the call of jesus christ i just want to pray for you right now i feel the presence of god and the presence of god is going to touch you father in the name of jesus i pray for this precious people lord jesus as they are hearing the call of god in their hearts lord help them to respond to the call of god lord jesus i bless them in the name of jesus let them become a blessing to millions of people around the world in jesus name Amen and amen. God bless you abundantly. Join us next week for a new episode of Blessing Today Legacy Talks. Subscribe to Damian Anthony YouTube channel right now.